Hey guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my next review for Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic, or I guess just Knights of the Old Republic for Android. So for this particular review, I am on the Leviathan, so as a bit of backstory, as I was leaving Manon to go to Dantooine, um, the Leviathan picked us up, and doing a little bit of uh, Google researching, um, it turns out that after your fourth planet is when the Leviathan shows up. So, uh, basically, um, this is dealing with the showdown with Saul's old admiral, um, and I already forgot his name, but essentially you're locked up by him, and then you have to pick another party member to lock you, to break you out, so I used a T3M4, and that's kind of where we're picking up from here. Um, so he got us out, I picked up all my gear, re, um, uh, armed everybody, gave everyone their armor back, so now it's just a matter of having the showdown with um, Saul's, um, or sorry, I guess it's Admiral Saul Carith and Car or Admiral Saul something, and it's Card's old Admiral, so from here um, it's a matter of um, defeating him and escaping. I'm not sure if Malik shows up at some point or if he kidnaps Bastille at this point. But basically everyone on the Ebon Hawk is ready to go, so um, essentially from here it's a matter of um, escaping. So we can to get to the bridge and lock the docking bay doors. So in order to get to the hangar we have to unlock the uh, hangar bay doors, so the bridge is the only option. So. Essentially from here on out it's gonna just be is gonna basically be everyone fighting their way to um, escape um, and I think the default group to use in this fight is um, Karth and Bastila because they're the only ones who um, um, were there with in order to um, I basically you don't get the option to pick other party members you get Bastila and Karth um, in order to escape from the bridge so um, that did takes care of those two so um, this is probably at one of those points it would have been nice to have um, or I guess I can't reprogram him so standard door so um, it's a matter of yeah, I mean, basically, it's going to be a pretty straightforward um, escape, I hope. So, I'm going to pick Karth. I'm hoping that he knows a little about, about reprogramming, or I guess I can't reprogram droids. So, that defeats that purpose. Let's uh, heal everyone up a little bit. Um, and from here, so... And I guess these guards are either trying to make things as easy as possible or they really don't react much to um, um, people trying to defeat them or to escape from the ship. So. I guess this is just, it's going to be a lot of navigation from what I remember. It's not really a maze so much as it's a big grid of navigating around to get to the bridge. But once you've... Um, um, found your way to the bridge, then you don't have to deal with um, that part of the level and escaping. So... Um, I don't remember... So maybe there's more... Um, or I guess I should start worry about um, key saving a little bit of my force powers. So... This is one of those points where having um, um, dueling mastery, if you're focusing a lot on 
um, combat is um, so once Basella is revived it's going to be a matter of um, getting her um, to heal everybody up because it looks like um, okay so we did get a data pad so let's see if um, that provides some sort of interesting information so So I don't know how much it is of that what idea pad when so I'm gonna heal everybody up. Um, hopefully I can, or at least in this case it's I'll probably be a little bit okay with Basil using up her force powers to heal us all up because it is gonna be a it looks like it's gonna be a relatively long mission, so This is probably going to be. This is probably going to be a relatively um, boring part, but I guess we're in the armory, so. So I guess this is a good place to get find if there's anything good for anybody to use. Um, probably give um, Karth, or actually even myself for that matter, some good armor. So I'm not sure what that item was. Hoping it's not a matter of having to spacewalk or something like that. So um, I'm gonna take a look at. So let's see. Dexterity. So let's see if I can still use some. Of, I can't use my force power, so I'm gonna have to stick with. Um, my other so the other robe but um, I'm gonna see if I can give um, Karth some better armor just so we can prevent him from dying out so easily and then we'll uh, heal us up again because I did take the blunt of those grenades so there's that I guess I'm going to have to take a look at the map a little bit, see where I'm at. So I did the armory, elevator, droid bay, barracks. So um, I guess I'm just going to have to run around into all the unexplored parts of the ship till I get to um, some place that I haven't actually um, been to so I guess we have a control panel let's take a look at so 
so there's still more barracks so I activated the assault droid so I'm hoping that it helps me out more than it helps um, other or maybe I'll take out the um, troopers that we saw in the in barracks number three so just one of those um, so we get armory elevator quarters clear so it looks like um, the bulk of the ship is pretty um, straightforward so um, System open all security doors, upload areas. Okay, so I can't get the. Okay, so I guess there was one good thing out of that in that unlocking the um, all the doors um, is gonna allow me to get anywhere I want. So elevator corridor doesn't really is pretty generic. Um, so. I guess I'm gonna go and go in the other direction and see if I can't um, find that third barrack. So it looks like there's even though there's a bunch of troopers in there, it's gonna be a matter of um, getting more, me possibly more equipment, more uh, grenades and things like that. So. Lock, so so this is going to be it and I am dead so I guess I couldn't take that much uh, firepower but it's a good thing I saved at the computer terminal so um possibly might be a good time to give cars um better blasters probably i guess so one to six damage uh, let's do none uh long story uh, I guess I'll give him a Mandalorian assault rifle, see if that helps them out. Um, and I guess I can't, the droid is something that I'm going to have to defeat as well. I'm hoping that it controlled um, gets the... or probably not because it came in the other direction, so... Um, I guess let's take care of that, get a few experience points, but activating the dro experimental droid um, it was a bad idea, but it gives us a reason to level up um, Bastila and Carve. So let's level them up and let's heal the rest of the party so that we're starting off in good, relatively good shape. And then shield everyone up as well. So from here it's going to be a matter of getting to the corridor with the um, Sith Troopers. Which is going to be pretty much right at the end of this hallway. So I guess do a quick save so I don't have to defeat that droid all over again. And... So, 
this drain light until I've used up my force powers, I guess, or I hopefully I don't die in the process. Bastilla is keeping me alive a little bit. So once I'm out of this, I'm going to keep draining life. So until my force powers are done, um, having Karth um, and I guess okay, so I'm done. Um, so it's going to be a matter of taking out the rest of these guys all by myself. Um, Get a med pack in, let's do a life support and some shields. Uh, maybe a master rapid shot will be a little bit better. med packs Let's disengage so that I can I think uh, having the shields and then using grenades might be the, the easiest way to defeat all of these guys just so that I don't have to um, do it all from close range. So let's see what else I have. Let's try thermal detonators. Those seem to be a good idea all at the same time. Okay, so that took a little bit more energy than I expected, but um, I'm hoping that there's some good stuff in these lockers, and then I'll use a Bastila to um, heal, me, heal everybody up, so that way we're all happy before we get to the bridge and make um, the final assault, I guess. So, let's see. Okay, so she's back up in Ada, so we're all super drained, but hopefully she gives us all enough uh, strength to move on. And so she's out, so we'll do a quick save. Uh, let's see, so we need to get uh, back to the elevator, so I guess we'll make sure that um, there nothing this way and I guess credits are always good in for whatever our last level is okay so um, since I have a little bit of force power I'll um, drain this guy's energy while Basila fights the other one I'm not sure where Karth is, so uh, oh, there he is, so at least he can, hopefully he's doing something, and and I'm gonna guess that there's a uh, or I guess not, so... Alright, so... Hopefully this is a little bit... something better than nothing that where the droid goes out around and um, defeat...
basically from here I think that's a oh, this is a different computer panel so let's see um, and we don't want to overload the terminal and die so uh, let's see we need to get to Oh, we need to get to the elevator. Hopefully we can... So hopefully I've unlocked everything I need to unlock. can't get to the bridge so maybe go looks like I have to go back to there's an unexplored part of the um, ship that I need to get to so I guess it's a matter of going all the way back here um, I'm hoping that So let's see what this does. So let's check the map. Okay, so we have to find another way to get to the bridge. So since we're all leveled up, let's pick up. I guess we'll open up all these containers and see what's going on. Or see what's in all of these containers and... Never hurts to do a little bit of exploring. So I guess we have to take the airlock to unlock. So let's see, we're... Oh, I vaguely remember this part now. I guess we're going to have to take the bridge and we're going to... Um, so there's patrols out and about out around the Leviathan, much like you would have on any patrol. Uh, no force power, so it's going to be a nice slow run in order to get to the other door to get around to the bridge. Um, and and I, this is one of those things that it kind of, for some reason, it reminds me more of Kotor 2. Um, I was, after I was thinking about my last review, I realized that some parts kind of overlap as far as what they want you to do and so the stuff that. As far as the graphics and UI look, so uh, I just hope that we don't have to go all the way back in order to escape the Leviathan, but hey, you never know at this point just because I don't remember from here, so we'll do a save again. Yes, me and my saves. Um, Um, but yeah, saving in this game, whether you do a new, uh, in separate slots or, oh, and I guess I have to rearm myself, so, uh, I can give him a double-bladed lightsaber, so, Mandalorian rifle it is, and then Bastila has so so basil is out um just from that little exchange so hopefully she does last a little bit longer after that um, so I think I'm going to give Karth back his, his um, blaster so
let's heal everybody back up, give Vassal some health back as well, so she's not ultimately dying um, just because. We'll pick up remains as we always like to do. One of these doors was, I think, another supply cabinet. Or, I guess it was a dead end. So, that gives uh, me and Basil a time to recover our... our um... So, I guess I'm just going to hang out here for a second. I guess I didn't need to do four speed, but it doesn't hurt to do burst of speed, force valor, and shield. Might as well put on some shields as well. So bridge is, bridge it is, and we're gonna have Sith troopers, admirals. So I'll keep calling him until I realize his name or they say it. And Dar Jedi. And never want to underestimate a Sith person um, gloating a little bit. Uh, looks like Darth Malak is on his way. A um, bit of back and forth banter. Um, so. I guess I'm gonna die pretty fast here, so that's gonna really suck. So it's probably gonna have to be me doing all of this all over again. Um, and I would love to switch to Bastila, but. To do that banter back and forth a little bit as well, so I guess I'll give myself a uh, battle stimulant, battle stimulant, I have adrenal stimulant, uh, more shields, um, give, I'll give Car some shields as well, stamina. Strength, all of that good stuff. We'll do the same thing for Bastila. Uh, start everyone off on the same footing. So, I guess that's going to be a good way to start. Uh, maybe kill off the two Sith troopers pretty quickly so that way. Uh, we don't have to deal with them as much. Um, I'll fast forward through those guys. And and let's do a health pack really quick and let's drain some life. over again so um, this is gonna be a fun def um, defeat that I'm gonna have to go through so um, I think maybe I'll do a force shield from Bastil I think that might be a better idea to so that, so Basta, oh, I'm, I'm 
basketball, that's why. So, force armor. some uh, grenades and thermal detonators. Um, oh, I'm out of shields. Oh, I guess I'm not out of shields, but... I guess it's going to be a little bit of uh, dealing with. So I'm going to have Bastila do a floor shield um, before we start, just so that uh, uh, we can try doing this a little bit of a different way. Um, Otherwise, it's gonna. Okay, so. This is going to be a little bit harder than I expected. Um, but what can you expect when you're going up against four Sith Troopers, two Dark, two, uh, dark Jedi, and an Admiral in the Sith Fleet? So, um, I guess let's shield up as much as possible. I think I'm going to switch up carts. I don't want to poison Blade. Let's do Bendax Blaster. See if that helps him out a little bit. Stamina. And then we'll have a uh, Bastila B Force Resistant. Do a little bit of Force Armor save up and then now um, I guess let's give that a shot to see if um, we can defeat these guys so I guess it's going to be a matter of um, defeating these guys as fast as possible um, I know the Dark Jedi are going to be on us pretty fast, so after I defeat this one guy, um, I'm going to have to... So, cart's already down. So, let's do a health pack and drain life. So, I suppose if we can, um, oh, and Basil is down, so 
Um, don't know why it's not letting me. So I suppose I have to, once I get rid of those troopers, I need to run around a little bit. Let um, Bastila and um, Karth maybe take care of the other guys, and then from there um, deal with the other guys in the background who are continuing to uh, probably throw grenades and things like that. So, instead of critical strike, I'll do that, do a health pack. Okay, so this is going to be a little harder than I expected, so um, I guess, or continues to be harder than I expected, so after, and this is the one thing I kind of didn't like with that, um, sometimes when dying it does a whole camera panoramic, so, um, maybe I'll try using Bassa to leave my other characters in the background, just so I can keep healing everybody up. See if that makes a difference, I guess. So... Oh, I suppose I should give Bastila her um, double-bladed lightsaber, see if she's um, better at that. So let's do flurry. And my character is down and out, so that sucks. Okay, so Karth is out, so now it's going to be Bastila versus everybody. But I suppose having Bastila use the correct weapons might be in good order so that she doesn't um, die quite as uh, quickly. So critical threat 20 by 22. So I'll give her her lightsabers. I'll make sure that... Uh, So, all right, so I guess we're going to have to give this one more shot um, just to make sure that I can defeat these guys. So, um, let's see. Let's see if I can use Force World when, when with that I am dead, and it's Karth's turn, so... Oh, Bastila is still alive. So let's heal. Right. Um, so this is going to be a bit of a pickle, just because I'm not sure how I'm going to um, defeat all these guys. Um, Unless I take out the, all the troopers in the corners first. Uh, let's fix that. So. 
so I'm shielded up again. Bastila has the right lightsabers for the fight, and we want to make sure that she um, so let's heal up really quick and then we'll do four speed. Now that I've saw got unlocked the bridge, um, I'm gonna. So it's now it's just a matter of um, finishing off the rest of these guys. Hopefully, I can. Uh, or I guess there we go. So um, the. So the computer, of course, isn't as important as defeating everybody. So um, the idea is that we want to defeat everyone so we can unlock the bridge bay doors or the hangar bay doors and get off the ship. So um, let's get back to defeating everybody. And of course, that's super annoying to um, be um, put into a stasis right off the bat in the middle of the fight makes things pretty useless. But since it looks like uh, so now that I've got my heal health back, um, I guess taking out the Jedi is probably the most important thing. And then from there, everybody else is um, secondary. So it looks like I could use some shields. Let's take care of these um, Sith Troopers. So that should be pretty easy. So, Bath so that's done. Uh, I guess at some point the Admiral was attacked and killed, maybe. I don't know, I guess they don't really want to waste your time. Um, so if you want to do dark side cars, I'm going to do the third option. Take your time make, for make him suffer. Um, Basil is going to be the source of Jedi light side power. And Karth is going to go into despair. Um, I think this is going to be a trap with the Admiral if I remember right. Um, and it doesn't look like Karth knows that your character is Darth Revan. And he doesn't, and this is going to be the point where a Karth falls apart. And so this is the point where um, Karth, technically Karth and Basila know, um, wants an explanation and I guess this is going to be the point to try and get her to say something, but it's not the time. Um, and I want to say it's probably towards the end, the last level, but it kind of falls apart for me from here as far as what there is to remember. Um, so maybe, oh, you know what? It's going to be when they get off, when we get on the Ebon Hawk and escape um, the ship that we learn all about um, who Revan actually is. So. From here, we're going to uh, have to unlock the doors. 
So open back docking bay door. So we can program a new destination. Um, so now we have to get off. Uh, I'm gonna hope that there's something to worth salvaging. Um, pistol and remain so we'll of course uh, so that's all there is for that so we'll heal everybody up and save and then get off the ship so Basil is out of uh, force energy so So I guess there's going to be more Siths to fight from here. So... I'm um, hoping that's actually going to be the hangar bay door, so uh, note to the command deck, so that it is where to go from here. So now it's a matter of getting to um, the elevator, so force run again. Well, have to take out all these guys and well, I suppose it doesn't hurt to see if there's any uh, remains just for the sake of uh, completionists. You don't know when you're going to need um, Um, any sort of grenades or shields or anything like that much like he saw in the last fight so let's make sure we're going in the right direction do some more force run and at this point now these um, dark side dark jet are going to be relatively simple which is kind of what comes into play once we get onto the Star Forge. Um, because it's, it's not necessarily that it's um, hard to defeat them. It's just kind of along the lines of a stormtrooper that um, it's just because there's a whole lot of them that it becomes um, really annoying to have to get through them all. So... Now that we're back at the um, elevator, we can go to the hangar and get back onto the Ebon Hawk. So we're ready to go. So um, So I'm not sure where all these, what part of the ship this is on, but we'll fight our way through these guys as well. So yeah, I'm not sure what part of the ship this is on, but since we um, have the time a little bit now, technically, because there's just I think at this point we're just supposed to escape from the um, sh from the Leviathan. So it's really just a matter of getting off of the ship. Um, 
and it doesn't hurt to kill a few more guys, get a f um, some more um, experience points along the way, and I guess at this point it's also going to be one of those things where um, a lot of the characters do look alike as well. Hey, how are you? How are you doing? Good. So, since we're might as well um, have at it and um, accomplish as much as we can, raid as much as we can off the ship, because we don't know when we're going to um, have another chance at um, anything like this. Um, I think Horban really is the last level from here in or at, before we move into um, the Star Forge, the planet by the Star um, below the Star Forge, and all of that. So. So let's he heal up a little bit because we don't know what's coming. Uh, sand save, of course, I, I, I keep saying to do. So this is actually kind of getting at a hand as far as... Um, Um, all these different characters to defeat, but I guess once you're on a Sith warship, what do you expect? So, um, granted, for I guess if for some reason it feels like all of these guys are a lot easier to defeat than the um, group that we just came from, so um, I am not going to complain about that. Um, but it's good that we get all these... I'm not sure why there's still credits at the end of the towards the, at this point in the game, but who is going to complain about that? Um, so now that we have. Actually, let's check that last door because I don't remember which door is which as far as getting off the ship. And we can't go through that door anyway, so... Um, we'll do some force run to get out of here. Because I want to say that at some point Darth uh, Malik does show up. And of course there he is. Karth being Karth, um, oh, this is, I think, at the point where Basil gets kidnapped. Um, so he was hunting us down, so we'll see where we want to go from here. Uh, so it looks like um, this is the point where we're going to learn who our character actually is. So... No, so the Jedi believe in not executing anyone, um, and so this is, we're going to go through some cutscenes, basically a montage of um, all the scenes that we're um, going through before. So if you spent the time early on in the game to talk to your characters, then you would have learned all about um, all, your all the different um, things you could all the different things you could so that you learn the backstory and kind of piece together the puzzle that something is important about your character. Um, so going into it, you, you do know what your character's abilities, that being the strongest one there and everyone being surprised at what you can do is a reason why you should kind of suspect what your character is. Um, or at the very least or on the flip side, you're going to be, you're going to meet with Revan and he's going to give you some important piece to the puzzle. So. Um, turning Revan to your cause is a good thing, but being that on the dark side, or I guess the whole, the whole idea behind the game is that um, 
you're gonna go into the turn to the light side and it's gonna be the redemption of Revan so the prodigal son returns or you can go to the dark side and plunge the galaxy into darkness so we learn here that um, Basila and Revan fought um, Malak turned on Revan and I'm sorry Ma Basila and Revan fought and um, Malak and then um, Malak turned on Revan and that's why he took that's why they took the because they took him out um the jedi decided to um use that opportunity to um turn him to the light side so now that we've gotten that part all done um this is going to be the part where um or let's make sure that i'm right before i continue to speculate uh, Malik is taking um, so basically this is going to be the conversation between Malik and Revan where we learn who your character is so uh, we're just going to get through this cutscene. Um, we're still dealing with the rule of two, so um, it, it was inevitable that um, Malik would turn on Revan. So basically, um, we're going to turn on Bastila and see where re this line of reasoning takes us. I don't quite remember exactly what the, um, the repercussions of this conversation are going to be as far as uh, turning Bastila to the dark side, but we know that um, uh, Malik is going to kidnap her from here. So it's a matter of escaping from here, seeing what happens. So... Malik defeated our character. I don't know if we have to do all of this all over again or what the next scene is because that would seem to be kind of weird especially since oh I guess we have to do all of that over again just because um I guess we don't have to do that so we'll fight Malik see where that takes us Um, oh, I guess um, we just have to defeat him enough where he tries to run away, and that's what, kind of what he's going to do from here. So... I'm not sure if this is one of Malik's tricks to get us alone or what the deal is, but...
that was kind of weird to go in a big circle. Um, that's locked. Um, so I'm not sure quite what the deal is. So I guess we will leave the review here for now. Um, that's locked, so um, I suppose it's a matter of escape, but let's see what Revan ha or Malik has to stay from here. Or maybe he wants a one on one uh, fight. Um, and um, he's frozen us in place and Basila has been undone. She has her yellow lightsaber back even though we gave her a right a red one. So um, um, I guess Bastila is gonna try and take him off and the door is locked so um, I guess we're going to, let's take a look at our journal entries. Um, uh, still has been captured, so we'll do a level up. Let's take a look at our skills. Um, health, feats, um, can't do master flurry, so... Efficiency, caution. Um, let's see if we can, we can do master of critical strike. And then, as far as um, drain life goes, we can't do death field yet. So, uh, wound, stun, affect mind. And we'll do accept there. Uh, save and let's see where the hangar bay doors were. So um, I guess we'll worry about getting off the ship. Um, so that's really the bulk of that. The Basil has been captured, so um, we're gonna have to do a little trial, try and go to Korriban if we can. If not, then it's gonna be a matter of getting to the Star Forge, um, getting through all those guys, rescuing Bastella off of the planet underneath the Star Forge, and then, um, is and then uh, defeating Malik and dealing with that final level. So, uh, I think this is going to be up to point where we have to escape. So let's do that, make sure we can escape. Get out of here as fast as we can. Um, and this is one of those uh, levels that's easier on a desktop computer. Um, so, uh, if you are playing on the PC or iOS or wherever else you can play the game, then play it there um, because this is super sluggish and I kind of don't like it. So, um, knowing that now, it's fine, I guess, but um, So I'm hoping I'm taking some of these guys out a little bit. Okay, so that did it. So 
Hopefully there's no more cutscenes to deal with um, the identity of Rick. So we ran into Malik, Bass, uh, sacrificed herself. Um, and from here, so he's gonna, we're gonna, Malik is gonna use Vasila. So we have to get to the, uh, reveal the truth. So we're gonna tell everyone about what's going on, deal with all these cutscenes. Um, So I guess every, this is the point where everyone's going to be, or some of the, everyone's going to be on the cutscene to uh, be on Brother's side, Karth is going to be the whole holdout. So we'll ask everyone what they, what they want. Um, So Revan was HK-47's master, so um, now that uh, we have the full, So now that everyone knows what's going on, we can deal with um, what to do from here. Um, so one more vision, I guess. Um, hopefully this is of Korriban, because I kind of now do want to go there, but just to round out all the planets. And there it is. So one more vision, and I guess we are going to Korriban. So we'll, we'll land here. Uh, let's. Just confirm. Korriban's a desolate world of a red planet. Okay, so we will leave it at that. That is all for this particular review. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is PatelN01.com for vast episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in, and until next time.